Okay, so I was going to record this, but basically this t-shirt is more or less the same color as my green screen. So now I'm, I'm a floating head. You can see the outline of my t-shirt, I guess. I'm going to take an accessory call, which is a great peak. Hmm. What if I do this? No. Okay. While this peak happens, I'm going to change. This is so funny, I wanted to show this. This is really funny. Uh, oh my god, I didn't have my uh, suit. Okay, so that was very weird and I hope funny for everybody involved. But yeah, first pick ancestral is not really that interesting, so I I hope my silliness made it a bit more interesting. Uh, I'm very red right now. I'm going to take flash. I love flash. Also, we take the flash, get the Ashen Rider back. Ancestral Recall is very good when you have combos because it throws you more cards, you know? So I hope you can hear me now that I have my microphone. So that intro is very weird. Who cares? Flash, flash, flash. Also, Malcolm has flash. Did you know that? I didn't. Cards I like here. Echo of Eons. Always happy to have Echo of Eons in my deck. Inti seems to be very good. It's a new card that allows you to discard and generate value, but also like it's a very good clock. Manifold key. I think there's no mana bolt here in this cube. So there's manifold key for nothing. I'm going to take echo. Just like take the broken blue cards and we'll find a way to win with those. For example, frantic search. Very good with echo of eons because it can allow you can go frantic search. Do whatever and tap three lands, cast a coffee for your graveyard. So that's great. Well, we're starting fine. So we could take cryptic. Cryptic is such a good hand, good hand, good card. Could be well mono blue. This is turning up to be the classic deck. I see LSB draft, then I try and I lose. The only difference is now you can see me fail. That's not great. Or is it because we, we can learn together from failure. Oh, now this is wonderful. We get the Narset, we already have the Echo of Eons, as a draw seven, and we have the draw seven Punisher here. Can I please, I just want to, uh, I want to drag. I thought it was fixed. Now you could drag the cards into your graveyard, but it seems you cannot. Uh, okay, so I really like Scalding Tarn. I love Fetchlands and Blue Fetchlands above all. Twitcher is fine. Even Tassas Oracle is fine. I think getting Scalding Tarn going is going to be great. Mm, here, the Sadder Flux Reservoir as a combo card. But there's Memory Yard as another draw seven. At some point, if we start getting so many draw sevens, we would want to. We want to get uh, extra hate. Hmm. It's interesting. Currency converter is very nice. Good with Echo of Eons. Good with Memory Yard since you can get the cards below it. There's also Ketria Ryan. But usually we uh, we will want to be like in the blue black kind of deck. So I'm going to take the currency converter here. Oh my god, I cannot. Okay. Okay. So I just want to drag the card. Perfect. As a rider came back. Now we have our combo. Let's take Fire Eyes. Oh, that was too fast. I wanted to talk about it, but it's just a solid card. You know it. It's played in modern. Easy. Here we're going to take a snap because if we get a high tide or something like that. Oh, Bola Stitler. Yeah, sure. We have some cards that would be awesome in like a storm combo deck, right? Mm, and we have other cards that are like good in a normal control, blue control deck. Good things. We are basically mono blue. I mean, basically, no, we are completely mono blue. We have already two combos, which is Narset plus Draw Sevens and Flash plus Archon. And we have Ancestral and Currency Converter to find our combo pieces. So, I mean, this deck would be fine even without Ancestral. Ancestral just going to make it well a bit better, right? That's what Ancestral does. 
have already done that. I, I need to think of another thumbnail. Hmm. So here, cards that are interesting. Force of Negation, always red. Especially with the B Mono Blue, it's going to be always on. Lightning Bolt, super cheap, efficient removal spell, love it. And Tom is interesting to get that Echo Fears into the graveyard. Also, and Tom is good in general. And we could pick up a bit of reanimation, which I may love too much. But I think I'm going to be. I'm going to restrain myself to either Force or Lightning Bolt and will the Triumph or the Fire Dislet. I think I'm going to take the Force. Yeah. It's like. Zero man, like you can go Narset, go, your opponent does something, you force on the 80 on that, take your turn, do your draw 7. And that kind of thing is very, very important. Let's order this by mana value to see how our, our deck is looking. Yeah, Lightning Ball was very nice though. Okay, here we have this thing that is like very good, but it's green. Yeah, mm, Etali, very decent with Flash. We could reanimate it if we get the reanimation stuff. Intuition, three cards and rebuild them. They put one into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Shuffle. I don't think we want that. Here I'm between. We could take Shark Typhoon for the like regular blue control deck, which I like blue control decks, but I think it's between Gudet and Italy. I'm going to take Italy. It's very good with Flash. And if we end up being a blue deck, a uh, sorry, a blue deck, a um, different deck, like reanimator deck, we can cast it being red, everything. So here, Tinker and Ursa Saga both are red. I think Tinker is a bit better, especially because we already have Bola Citadel here. So let me bring that in. And now let's look for cheap artifacts we can sacrifice. Ooh, Brain Freeze. So. With all these draw sevens, it's going to be easy to find a spot in where to brain freeze. I wanted Lotus Petal and I wouldn't mind Necromancy. I think brain freeze is going to be great. Jace is interesting because, I mean, Tassas Oracle is gone, I believe. Yeah, it was with the Memory Yard, I think, something like that. Jace, like, we can brain freeze ourselves. Also, Jace is like a solid planeswalker, value card, yeah. Let me get Jace. Like, I don't super love it, you know? It's just fine. Here... Uh, so, Turnabout would be cool if we had um, High Tide, which we don't. I'm going to take Chrome Host Seed Shark. So, so, it will generate cheap artifacts for our Tinker, and it's just like a really good card in general. Okay, I don't love anything here. Covete Jewel, maybe. We don't have the fast mana for that. That's what we are missing. We are missing fast mana or cheaper, better interaction. Yeah, let's take the Coveted Jewel. I guess we could Tinker for that. We want like Talismans. Of this deck really wants Moxen with all these three drops. I guess Force of Negation is uh, a zero, technically. Okay, here I will take a Spire Bluff. I, I like Exploration and I really like Exploration with the draw sevens. But Spire Bluff will help us with the Fire Eyes or the Hard Casting Etali. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the cards we expected came back. I wanted the Rowring, but now that we have Tinker, Hard Evidence becomes so much better. Like this card with Tinker is awesome. Also, yeah. So we want that. Uh, we haven't seen High Tide. We, we will pick High Tide highly. With a Snap, Frantic Search, and a bunch of Islands because we're going to be mainly mono blue. Just a tiny bit of, of Red Splash, probably for Fire Eyes. And to have the off chance to play Etali. Here, I can take Intuition. I don't think I love that. But yeah, probably better than Star Typhoon. I, I, I don't know how to fit Intuition in our deck. I will find a way. Also, Intuition says search a library for three cards. Target one reveals one, put a card into your hand and the other one into your graveyard, then shuffle. I was thinking you could do like the gifts and given thing and just put the stuff in the graveyard. Okay, specific iteration, like 
Hangover worker is fine, but A is so much better. What do we need? We need acceleration. We need some removal. Kaito not really what wanted. This was the pack with the Lotus Petal, which I didn't expect to come back. But we're looking fine. We're like we're not in a terrible spot. Force of Will will be awesome in this deck. Um the reanimate cards are gone, like the Entom and the other one. Mm. I'm going to take Seal of Removal. Like when you're playing draw sevens, bounce your thing, then draw seven. It's gone. It's not card disadvantage. Oh, turn about came back. Perfect. We really, really want high tide. Super high pick. LED would be very high pick. Of course, any of the power cards will be super high pick. Soul Ring, which is technically not power, but it's totally power, you know. Instead, we have Preordain and Colossus. This may be finally the time to pick Colossus. I have in the past ignored Blightsteel Colossus many times. I'm going to take Preordain and Will Colossus. Like, we have the Tinker. Who wants Colossus? Like, nobody wants Colossus. Is that... Oh, Ursa? I really want the Steam Bands. But Urtha having Tinker is fine because like you can Tinker of Urtha. We have the Seed Sark. Seed Sark is awesome with Urtha. Yeah, let's take Urtha. Maybe Steam Band comes back. It won't. Okay, Misty. Let's take another Blue Land. Candelabra it would be awesome if we get the, the thing, the High Tide. But I'm going to take Misty Rain Forest. Another blue fetch land sounds good. Here, loose focus is a counter spell, which we want. We want third path iconoclast too. This is cool, but I don't really care about this. Yeah, I'm going to take loose focus. We don't have that much interaction, so loose focus sounds good. We are getting there. We have some very good high card uh, cards individually. If we get one blue red, if we get that steam banks back, that would be awesome. Uh, there's Rowring is gone, Sanders Lounge is gone. Mm, Ketria, we haven't seen Ketria. I would play Ketria Triumph in this deck. Just getting to fix that blue red splash easily with our fetch lands without having to play a mountain. Because playing mountain when you're playing Cryptic Command and Jace. Wilder of Mysteries. Eh? Okay, here. Um, Sai is not good because we don't have the artifacts for it. Um, Metamorph is fine. Yeah, I don't really want Rafin's Tower. In Metamorph, we have some good stuff to Metamorph. It's also an artifact for Tinker. Hmm. We need that Colossus to come back. Mm, we will play the Candelabra of Taunus if it comes back. Just as a cheap artifact. Hmm. I guess Spellseeker having Ancestral Recall seems like the best pick. Yeah, we need to cut some stuff from our deck already. But yeah, Spellseeker for Flash or for Ancestral is just solid. I wouldn't mind Helm of Awakening. Actually, it's also a cheap artifact for Tinker. <gasps> wow! There it is, the high tide. Suddenly we're a combo deck. Before, we weren't quite there, but now we're a combo deck. Yeah. And yeah, now we want the Candelabra back. And that's about it. We have the Turnabout, we have Frantic Search, we have a Snap. Oh, we really want that Steam Bands. Uh, that's never coming back, is it? Colossus didn't come back. That's so weird to me. Let's take Basal Monolith. Uh, it's just a good card to have. Tuna we don't really care about, so yeah, Monolith. Oh, Stevens came back. Perfect. Perfect. Now our red splash is super secure. I mean, I'm taking Spirit of Love out. There's one on all islands. And I will get the statements when I can to 
eh, play specification, but I want all islands. Is Candelabra coming back? Candelabra, Candelabra came back. So we have infinite mana, three draws, infinite mana. If we draw high tide, which we have ancestral preordain and spellseeker to find them, even Nasser. Okay, this deck is a very bad tinker deck, but the rest of the cards are awesome. I, I'm not even sure I want to play. Oh, third path. Yes, yes, third path is great with tinker. Um, let's take the side. Okay, we need to make some cuts, but this deck is working. We are cooking. So we have the brain freeze, but we can brain freeze ourselves and win with Jace. We're just missing the underworld bridge. Let's see our last pick and go to deck building. Okay. Okay, I have decided that Spire Blue is going to be decent. Mm, Jewel could be fine. Etalis maybe not so great. I think Flash Assassin Rider as a two card combo is still good. But maybe I don't want it. I want to go full combo. Mm, 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 mm. Can take out the seal of removal, I guess. Need to make a lot of cuts. Mm, Helm is decent just because of Tinker. Maybe this deck. Uh, I really want to Tinker for Sita, at least so good. I've got also Tinker for Jar. Yeah. Mm -mm. Actually, I may not want Fire Eyes. <laughs> I will bring the the removal package for three turn matchups. Yeah, yeah, this sucks. And we are a decent combo deck with what we have here. Mm. What don't we need? I need to cut at least two extra cards. Jace is important because I, I really think we, if we get Jace into play, winning is going to be so much easier with Freeze. Helm is good to generate extra mana and also is very good with Tinker. Maybe Phyrexian Metamorphosis goes out. I, I think we need a Chrome Hostage Arc as a plan B. Halavians is, is very important with Tinker. We cannot play 14 lands. We need at least two cards. 16 lands. We will play 16 lands. Like, I will play 69 lands. No, no. I, I don't want. I don't want any of those. No, 14, sorry. Maybe it could be a 15 land deck. Is this a 15 land deck? With one preordain and with ancestral. Maybe a specific edition is too expensive. What if I take out the, the red cards and just play a bunch of islands? Yeah. Okay, Mono Blue Storm. Let's do this. Mm, on the play. Perfect hand. Land preordain. <laughs> Keep. Uh, bottom everything that's not an island and go. Yeah, Jace is fine, but we really need the island. <laughs> then we, we can play Helm, Spell Seeker for Ancestral, and keep going from there. <clears throat> if we draw a land next turn, it's Spell Seeker, Ancestral. And then Urza next turn. If we draw a land, we we'll probably play Urza actually. I mean, that's not nice of you. Okay, playing the Urza here. And with Urza, playing the Spellseeker. Francesa Recall. Yep. 
Ah, como os ha gustado una bolsa de... Ok. Y otro no ponen. Germo Awakening is symmetrical. Ya os remember that. We are very well equipped to take advantage of it, but it's symmetrical. Also, we have Shuffle the Jace back into our deck because, well, it will be a very nice draw right now. I think we draw Tinker. <laughs> Tinker, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, just about to draw Tinker. Okay, uh, I will mill myself here. Try to find Echo of Eons. Uh, Storm Count 2, I don't think it's worth it to Brain Freeze yet. Just pass the turn here. Let's see what happens. So, we need more cards, but we have the Jace for that. Hmm. What do we want to do? Like, usually with this kind of decks, you want to go into the, like, draw seven, ha, generate a bunch of mana. The only problem is the only mana generation we have is high tide. That's a big problem for us. Ursa and Helm of Awakening can generate quite a bit of mana. If our opponent plays like three or four spells, I am brain freezing myself after that. Like, if they go... Wow... I wasn't expecting that. That's annoying because that's a lot of mana we have just lost. Yeah, I'm very freezing myself, I think. I want. I really want to find the coffee ones. Well, I, mean, I could brain freeze them. I don't think that's a winning line. So I will brain freeze myself. Try to find Echo. Also, like, they have. We saw a Nulamo from their deck, so. It's not like we are winning. By doing that. Okay, so we don't find Echo, like, right now. Okay, we are looking at top four cards with six cards left. Excuse me, where's my Echo Fions? Is it in my graveyard and I, I didn't realize? Memory Yard is there, but there's no Echo Fions. What on earth? What's left in our deck? Are we losing because Echo Fions is literally Top four cards. Is Echo of Eons literally the penultimate card in our deck? I kind of want to know. <laughs> Good Tinker here. I don't think I have any Tinker targets left. Ah, uh, we'll pass the turn. That was quite something. The only saving grace for us is that they cannot really ke kill our Jays in this situation. But I don't know how we are winning because we have five cards left in our deck and we need to get rid of all of them. Yeah, so our opponent just tried to draw with Waterlock Grove when we have Narset into play. I mean, not, not their best work, that's for sure. Uh, so we draw up to four. This mills us for three. Two and draw, that means we'll have one card left in our deck. So we need to draw one? No, we need to draw two, right? Somehow. We need a divination to win the game. If this is attacking Jace, we get an asset activation. That could be the difference between winning and losing. That's the echo. So we know our whole deck. But let me just. Yeah. 
Ya está el problema. I don't think we can win. No. I can echo. And after echo. And try to win after echoing. They are not going to draw because of the Narset. Also, I should have. I knew all my cards, right? So I, there was no need for what I did. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hard evidence isn't really terrible here. So I didn't need to activate Narset because we knew our whole deck. I think I just was hopeful. I mean, if they don't kill Jace, we have a chance. They should kill Jace here. They cannot really kill Jace and Narset, I don't think. Yeah, they can. Can they, though? We get Urza into play. I think that's how we win. Two attacking Narset. This is attacking Jace. But that, that doesn't kill Jace. Okay, so I'm saving Jace. I mean, Narset dying sucks. But when we resolve Urza next turn, we're going to have a lot of mana. If we find... Uh, we have preordained to find stuff. Okay, I mean, we have a chance here. We need to find Brain Freeze and mill ourselves. Helm of Awakening is doing a lot of work this game. What is this? Please be an non-creature spell. Like Minskambu. No, they would have played that before. Uh a non-creature spell, I don't know which one, just one. Mono Blue Storm. We were so close. If that Narset had found Echo of Eons, I think we would have won. No, I mean, we, we're not dead. Yeah, we're countering that one. That was great. Fire Confluence doesn't kill Planeswalkers, and that feels unfair. It totally should kill Planeswalkers. Makes it so much worse. Like it's such a, a worse card just because of that detail. Ooh, whoa, trip. That's a lot of white in my background. <clears throat> what is this? This don't be something good. Chandra. Chandra is fine. Again, Chandra not killing place workers. That, that was a, a big nerf. Also, I never understood what was the logic be, behind hey, this hits walkers, this doesn't. We have cryptic command in our deck, that would be a good draw. Mm, I think I'm starting with Jace, I guess. High tide, that's a good start. Let me go with that. Now let's play Urza. And let's play Preordain. We find like a turnabout or something. Uh, I don't want any of those, I don't think. Like, yeah, Seed Shark is fine. Oh, there's the turnabout. Okay, so we have a million mana, approximately. Land. And tap my lands. Now I'm going to Echo. For very cheap. Did we really get the Bola Citadel in hand? Feels unfair. Okay, so here. 
let's do this sacrificing that um let's get memory jar because we have enough mana but we don't have enough stuff to use our mana this is free to play this is free to play now let's activate memory jar my computer is lagging i, can't, I really cannot play this combo decks um uh, yeah give me a second okay so let's play the seed shark here at least we are going to end up with a lot of tokens which is fine i guess what's going on i, I, I think my mouse is dying ah i can, cannot click on stuff okay let's play high time okay i got my emergency backup mouse so wow now it's so weird because this is a uh, so all all mouse that just died, probably the batteries. Regular mouse that I use for the office. And it's weird to just change to this one. Okay. So we have a million mana. So did you know you can use clue tokens? This is so cool. I love using clue tokens this way. Okay. Um Candelabra is a lot of mana. Cryptic Command is an extra turn. Ursa says shuffle your deck, right? Shuffle your library. I'm going to use to get the Candelabra going because what we're going to do is add a million mana approximately and then we're going to untap all of those get even more mana. Okay, done. Play with this. So we have a lot of mana. And we are just going to activate Ursa a bunch. And at some point, I hope. Uh, I'm going to activate, since I know the top card of our deck, I'm going to activate this because I really want to draw that cryptic command. Uh, yeah, uh, I wish Jill. Yes. Okay, we have. We are going to win this game. We just need to... Why do I keep playing decks that need a million clicks? Somebody explain that to me, please. Yeah, activate. It's fine, at least with this mouse I can freely click. So, okay. I'm just going to activate Ursa a bunch of times. At some point, if we need to, okay. We can go cryptic command, bounce our candelabra, or just hitting lands. And we add more mana that way. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure we have stuff that are not lands in our deck. Still, like. Oh, that's, that's a, a wonderful one. Yeah, I think this is game. Because we find Ancestral. Yeah. I, mean, I, I could brain freeze myself, but also Ancestral works. <sighs> that was... Quite the challenge. Okay, and we win now. We just drew our whole deck to win. Easy. I hope you enjoyed this. I, I mean, I do find it enjoyable to play this kind of decks. It's just a lot of clicks and my mouse dying didn't really help. Okay, so do we want to bring like the removal stuff? We have a lot of removal. We can morph into more of a blue-red deck. Which on the draw is probably say, uh, say uh, wise. It's probably wise to do. So yeah, drawing Bola Citadel was terrible every time. Let me bring these four lands here. Take out these four. Uh, I think we don't need the coveted jewel, but I really missed it at some point there. Like I want the red the removal, yeah. 
But also I want the other cards. So what am I taking out for the, for those? I think being a combo deck is just probably our best avenue to victory. Yeah, let's let's keep comboing. I, I don't want to change anything actually. Well, I want my lands back, I guess. I, I don't th I don't see a necessity to change. I they are a green deck that doesn't really don't really interact with us. Hmm. I, mean, I mean we kept a uh, one lander with preordain, which was cool, but without preordain. Okay, this is a fast tinker. And we even have the currency converter Echo Fions combo with Narset. Yeah. Mm, once upon a time. Great card. Okay, play a mountain rather than. Oh, that's fine too. Currency converter. Wow, this mouse is way worse. I didn't realize. Like, I, I use it whenever I go to the office. And I use the other one at home. But I, I never realized how bad it is. I guess when I'm working, I don't really care about how good or bad my mouse is. Ooh, loose focus was a wonderful draw. Because, like, we really want to counter mm, something. We will counter a saga. Yeah, I think we will counter Fable of the Mirror Breaker here. We're not countering that. If that's all you have. I mean, our opponent deck is not doing great, I guess. Draw this card. Hmm. I want the land, so I don't want to discard that. I will discard Echo, I guess, get it into my graveyard. Yes, I want to use it. I think I want to keep the loose focus up. I don't want to play Narset and get it um getting killed get it, it killed by the Rabin. So we're fine like this. Next turn, I can... Ooh, are they going to attack? That's sus. But I don't care, I'm blocking. <laughs> Maybe they didn't realize what's going on. If we roll Time Spire, uh, High Tide, we'll probably win. It's easy to win when you go Narset, Take Off Eons. In the same turn. Time Spiral would be awesome in this deck. At the, as it is in every deck with... I can't believe this just happened. So our opponent suicide the Elvis Mystic. And then played Endurance. And they couldn't pay for it because of the Elvis Mystic. Oh, Urza is kind of perfect. I'm going to play Urza. And play Tinker here. This mouse makes a lot of noise. Okay, let me sacrifice the construct token, get Bola Citadel. And yeah, like, Bola Citadel may break. As I, as I was saying, but I think we're in a very fine spot right now. Next turn, we can go Narset, Echo. We can play a bunch of stuff from our Bola Citadel. We're at 20 life. Our opponent has to answer a lot of things. Like, even if they go um, Fire Covenant, kill your board, we don't really care about that right now. I mean, it's annoying, you know, but we don't really care. Yeah, sure. Take six. Um, whatever, you know. I'm going to play Narset and not use it. Just leave it there. If they try to kill it, attacking with the Rabin, they can't. Yeah. Yeah, opponents saw the writing on the wall.
one all with the mono blue storm okay uh here we are again with a very bad hand but i have currency converter echo fions which is a great combo and then urza which is a great card okay this is the kind of thing our deck is not good against you know good good starts from our opponents we are not great against that especially in the draw our last opponent didn't really present much of a fight this one already has done a lot more JSBP is certainly an MVP multi-format MVP Okay, hard evidence. This screams. Um, it's a scream stinker to me. I see no reason to play that card without Tinker. Like, of course, you can cyborg it in against aggressive decks, but apart from that, it could also be an Urza deck, which is fine with Urza and Tolarian Academy. But it's just really, really good with Tinker. And if you have Urza, Tolarian Academy and Tinker, the card is awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, opponent. What do you have? What do you have for me? Hace buenas tetas esta cabeza. Claro, pues... Hola, hola. Make a play, make a play. Ponen put Lionside Diamond on the stack, I think I'm letting that resolve. Hmm. Not that I can do much, I, I can use Currency Converter to try and find a counter. Okay, I don't want to Echo Fions. <laughs> hmm. They may have their own Echo Fions, they may have... Nothing? Okay. If this is a whole richer, that's going to suck, but I really think we need to do this. What I don't want is I want the echo into my to get the echo into my graveyard. But I'm not going to want do I want to, uh, to exile it here? I don't think so. I don't want to risk my opponent bouncing or doing anything to my currency converter. So I'm just going to say no. It's pretty cool that currency converter gives you options. It's my perception that in this era, that is the arena arena era, well, a lot of choices have been taken out of cards, starting with a Jani Prime Mage. Do you remember that? And I understand because it's so annoying to do that on arena, but that's not how we roll. No, I don't want to use that. Can I draw? Narset? Like, I need to play Narset, right? If it works, that's awesome. If it doesn't, that's less awesome. The question is, do I want to activate Narset? I don't. I don't think I would do. What do they have? They didn't activate Jace? Yeah, I'm going to pass here. I may regret this. But the only thing we can really hit off Narset is Force of Negation. I don't know if Hull Richard is in this cube, but I'm scared about that one. Mystical Tutor for Doomsday. Okay. They are going to Doomsday. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Now I'm regretting having played the Narset. Because they are going to Doomsday. And uh, our Echo of Eons is not going to be able to mess them up. Because they will not draw a card. I imagine they have some kind of... Something. I don't know what they have. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to want to Echo of Eons. Let's see what they do. Okay, seems they are done resolving that. Uh, this is our deck. Besiegit, Talisman, Memory Jar, Bola Cidal, Time Spiral, Urza, Strix, Opal, Dark Ritual, Fratis Search, Pentaprism, Ponder, 
Black Lotus, Mystical Tutor, Hard Evidence, Swamp. So, what do they have in hand? Hmm. Okay, 10 life, and you have your pile. What now? So, Narset is annoying for them because they cannot draw and like instantly kill us. Okay, I'm going to activate Narset preemptively. Right, because if I hit high tide, that's awesome. <laughs> if I hit, huh? Okay, I want to echo here first of all because I want to shuffle that doomsday into their deck. Second of all, because I don't want them to be activating Jays and doing weird stuff with that. Mm, okay, uh, let me try and search for Force of Negation. Snap. Snap will be good at some point here. Okay, they have five cards in the deck, two cards in hand. It's not easy to beat Narset. We find Brain Freeze, we win, I guess. Like, it's way harder to win when you are just playing one card per turn. Uh, maybe this is wrong. I didn't want to activate Narset. Oh, for some evasion, yes, that's nice. I don't really care about the Seeds arc. Okay, let me do this. High Tide. Snap Jace. They can draw this card now. Emry. Emry is one of the cards they kept. Maybe. Oh, the idea was like to draw Emry and. Yeah, okay, okay, I get that. I have a lot of mana. Like, we are a very good high tide deck. Whenever we find high tide, we are very good at using it. Untap my lands. I will tinker now of that currency converter for memory jar and I think that should be enough. I hope that's enough. Memory jar. Activate it. We draw seven, they, they draw zero. What is this? Miscalc, but they are not drawing of that Miscalc because of Narset. So let's see what we draw here. Lose Focus, Cryptic, and Brain Freeze. I just wanted to Brain Freeze them. Okay, so their deck seems like a decent deck. It's a, it's a mirror. And I think our deck is very good for the mirror. So yeah, let's go. Uh, I'm keeping this hand. I don't love it. But Jace is pretty cool versus Doomsday because you can't really mess them up. It would be better if it was Thought Score, of course. I imagine they have Tasa Sora, either Tasa Sora Call or Jace Wilder of Mysteries. If it's Jace, we are happy we have Force of Nation in our deck. If it's Tasa Sora Call, we cannot really interact with that. Okay, again with the Mox into Island stat. Reordain. So Brain Freeze, ooh, that's kind of perfect. Brain Freeze was a card played in Vintage as a Doomsday answer. Because, I mean, it was played in like the Underworld Bridge Brain Freeze deck, but also like it was very good versus Doomsday. That deck also has really gone away. Why? 
I, I have been a bit, a bit disconnected from Vintage lately. It used to be my favorite format to play. But I don't know why that Network Bridge Brain Freeze deck is gone. Also, for what we saw, they do have a bunch of draw sevens, which are annoying. But apart from that, they really need Brain Freeze to win. So, yeah, Brain Freeze, they really need Doomsday to win, it seems. in the turn here I want to have a x6 just in case yeah yeah I, I want to always deal to that Sorry, I got distracted trying to fix my camera. So the problem is like I have a window there, right? Like if I do this, there's a window there. So throughout the day, the light changes a lot. It really sucks. I I, should, I could put. I'm going to get the blinds down, I guess. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay. Ah, uh, wow. I need to reconfigure stuff. Okay, so they are doing the classic Citadel um, top, which it sucks for us. Oh, they chose to not replay that. That's weird. Okay. Um, okay, now I'm going to ancestral myself. So I can maybe find a Force of Negation. Because I would really like to Force of Negation that Sansei is divine in top. Now I'm just going to F6. And if they kill us, they kill us. They can probably easily kill us. I don't know how. We'll see. I cannot take out that spot up there. I have tried. Ah. Let's see what our opponent does here. Ooh, that was fun. Ah. One day. Uh, okay, keep going, opponent. Just keep going. Time spiral. Oof. They paid a lot of life for that. Our hand was nice. After this time, Spiral, not so much. So makes... Doesn't make much sense to me to time a Spiral when you have all a Citadel Sensei stop. You can just, like, keep going, you know? They only have 7 life. Okay. If this is Doomsday, we are dead. But we are going to let them do it, so we see what's... Well, what's their kill condition look like? I imagine it's Tassas Oracle, so they are going to like draw three cards with top and then cast Tassas Oracle. I imagine that's what's going to happen here. This is Tomb 3 combo. That's pretty good. Lotus usually is helpful for when you want to combo. <laughs> yeah, they, they have a good Storm deck. Like a new era Storm, right? Like. It used to be that ritual, Jumbo's will, so on and so forth. And now it's all about Bola Citadel, Tinker, in this case Doomsday. Okay, so there are three life and we should be dead. If we are not dead, I don't understand what pile did they make with their thing. Maybe they didn't count that they were going to lose 4 life with Doomsday? Because Bola Cidal, for those of you who don't know, lets you play 
cards from the top of your deck paying mana. So this is basically at nauseam, but it puts the card on the stack rather than on your hand. <laughs> and they all only have three life left. So with Sensei's top, the combo we have seen, right? Like you draw, put this on top, pay one life, play it. Draw, put this on top, pay one life, play it. Bah, bah, bah. But with only three life left, what if we draw Lightning Ball, which we don't have in our deck? Hmm? What about? So I guess we... our plan... This is my favorite way, way to beat Doomsday in Vintage. Is to Ancestral Recall target them. Which I think I haven't yet done in this channel. I don't think... Maybe, maybe I have. Did we beat somebody with Ancestral Recall target you? I cannot remember. I don't like how this looks. This is better. It's too orange. I, th I think I have to change my saturation. Hello. Ooh, what if I do this here and you guys, which are probably smarter than me, help me figure out what I should touch? Like, mm, uh, no. I mean, I like it better on this range. This is in Spanish for some reason. I mean, because I'm in Spanish, but my computer is in English. So I change this position. I don't know what our opponent is doing, but I'm having fun here. Nope, here is fine. I don't think I want to zoom. That doesn't seem wise. Oh my god. Okay, opponent is doing something. This looks better step because now that's going crazy. Which probably will happen that when we go to Cyborg, our thing will go crazy too. Um, you got this opponent, Batex, I believe in you. I was checking the chat, maybe they meant they said something. Like a lot of times, in this kind of situation, when your opponent is like thinking a lot and going through permutations, it's the classic, you, you open the chat and it's like, oh fuck, or damn, or shit, or I messed up, or whatever kind of message. They sent. I'm so lucky that I'm one of the funniest person I, people I know because this would be a very boring thing to watch if it wasn't because I'm extremely amusing and I'm funny. I need to hit the gym again. Oh my god. I had, I, at some point during the last year, I got really nice arms. I, were, I was very happy with them. You can search my Twitter, I guess, for those pics. But now, I haven't been training since I moved, and that sucks. Okay. So they suck Lionside Diamond. Oh, they have Jace in hand? What? But they cannot play because they don't have enough mana for that. That's so interesting. I'm, I was assuming somewhere in the top in the top of the deck, there was a Tassas Oracle. But what if it was Jace all along? What if it was Jace all along and they miscounted the life total they needed so they could never play the Jace? Okay, now they are drawing with top. No, they are looking at the top card of the... Oh, I don't know what's going on! Oh, I don't know what's going on! I would love to watch this video from my opponent's point of view, but it really seems like they messed up at some point. This is turn 3 by the way, just in case you have forgotten, this is turn 3. We have done land preordain, land candelabra, go. Also, why am I tapped out? I don't remember what, why I'm tapped out. Ah yeah, because I ancestral recall myself, but then redraw the ancestral. Are we dead? Like, is this Ursa, Lord High Artificer? Are they going to try to beat us down with Ursa? And one card left in the deck. Oh my god, that's what's happening. I mean, I'm going to Ancestral to call them and win. Which is the best way to win in Magic. Making your opponent draw three cards and that kills them. 
either with Soldred or Bowmasters or in this case no insufficient cards in deck. The only thing I'm scared of is that they have drawn a counter spell of some sorts now. So I want them to kind of tap out or okay that's on the stack and they have no more life total. Ancestral you you die. Best way to win. I mean, if they have a counter spell on top of the deck, yeah, nothing. Let's go for the 3 0 clean 3 0s. Oh my god. Don't look at that. Look at me. Look at me. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This is a solid hand. No, my god, we have the ball of Citadel in hand. Mm, still, still, the idea of going Narset, Tinker for. Oh my god, why do I look so pale right now? What if I do this? I get an extra la an extra Yeah, fix it. Perfect. Oh my god, I cannot do that. No, not even for the joke. I can do this, look less pale like that. Okay, so having Bola Citadel in hand sucks. But we can go for the Tinker so we get Narset into play. And we tinker for memory jar. I don't know why this is a memory jar in my head. Just because like you tap it. So when you do crazy stuff. I just need like to draw a bunch of lands, I guess. We had there was a brainstorm and we picked something over it, but it was like something important. Was it high tide? As we have mentioned, this is a very good high tide deck. Whenever we draw high tide, I'm happy. Good thing of having Bola Citadel in, car, in hand that it's a very car, easy card to discard. Okay. Yes, I want to use it. Because I will use that to protect my Narset. I will activate Narset if they leave, let me resolve it. Because I really want to find high tide. There's high tide. High tide, we, I mean, we, ha we have Frantic Search and Candelabra in hand. That's like so much mana. We just want to draw another land, I guess. Also, having the currency converter to generate a token to block, that's going to be important. Now, if they play something, they are not activating Saga. If they are leaving mana up for, for Saga, that's fine. We can beat that. We draw a land, we go off. If we don't draw a land, maybe we can be patient. And just like, play Candelabra as I go. Mm, okay, Moxopal. Do you have a Tinker? Now, remember, Echo Fions is in the bottom of our deck. We just put it there with Narset. Okay, we're activating, making a construct, probably trying to make Moxopal online. Hmm, but it seems... Okay, maybe they just want to be fast. Important thing to consider. The main difference between... Hmm. I really don't want to... Burden is fine, will help us find land drops. Come on, land. Okay, that's the land. Let's play Candelabra here. I think we can wait, especially having Force of Negation in hand. I think we should be fine. The main difference between uh, Echo of Eons, Time Twister, that, those kind of effects, and Memory Jar is that our opponent will get back the original hand. So Narset is not devastating versus mem with Memory Jar, right? Because usually you go Time Twister, you have no hand, I have seven, ha seven cards. Good luck. In this case, it's more going to be like, I'm going to try to combo with those cards. Of course, we could be very lucky, which we are, 
and find mm, find echo fions since we will tinker and shuffle our our library. Your opponent has access to a lot of mana. Doctor Foundry. We can totally beat Doctor Foundry. Like we can beat Infinite Life easily because we don't need life to win. So. You're going to be surprised by this, but I'm going to block because I, I kind of need my planeswalker. We ha I feel like there are there are a lot of matchups that, that would have been like very bad matchups for us. Come on! But I think we are having nice matchups here. Uh, okay, I guess with Candelabra we have enough mana. So I can force some negation with frantic search. I don't need to uh, like I need the tinker to win. We are going to have a lot of mana. Like a lot, a lot. Ah, uh, I would like to play the tooth actually. Can I afford to do that? I mean, Urza is negative mana, of course. But as I mentioned, we're going to have a lot. Yeah, I think playing Urza is going to be sensible. Sorry, I always do this in the right in the wrong order. So no 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 we, we want to wait because we, we may find more yeah we, we may find more I would say it more islands more lands all, all of our lands are islands of course so I think we want to wait here I oh, know we cannot wait anymore we can we have to do it now yeah it doesn't matter oh wrong order this 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 and this done okay we have a, lot, a bunch of mana here <clears throat> let me do it like this so i can untap uh, memory jar activate memory jar okay that's a lot of mana for us which should be more than enough Land, untap, play Helm, which is basically free, play Hard Evidence. Uh, we have more than enough Storm to kill them, but I would want to be sure before going for it. So I'm going to activate Ursa first. Four mana, six mana. Yeah, I'm just going to brain freeze here. Brain freeze for. Wait, this is not enough. This is brain freeze for eight. There are twenty cards. Okay, in that case, I may brain freeze myself and go for an echo fions and try to win from there. We're not going to have much mana after that. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We have Helm, Helm of Awakening, so I can activate Urza again. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I almost missed that. Yeah, Helm of Awakening. Come oh my god, another land. Okay, in that case, I'm going to brain freeze you. And they have to beat us with half, with a very small portion of their deck. We need one more spell, basically. Well, actually two. They have Blasted Colossus. Okay, I want to put. Okay, Colossus is annoying. Now they have six six cards in the deck. That's quite a bit. We're going to have a tough time winning from here. We had more mana. Maybe it was worth it to brain freeze ourselves, go for Echo, and try to win again from there. Okay. 
it's not like we are dead, right? They still have to kill us. And at any point we can draw like we have 13 cards left in the deck. We have a lot of mana with Urza. And one of the cards in their deck is a Blaisteel Colossus, which is like not very useful. They have a solid deck, right? Cityscape leveler that's annoying. But we're at, we have a lot of life. Uh descriptive command still somewhere in our deck. What do I want to do here? I could loot. And I think I want to loot. Rather than activating Ursa. Okay, that's not great. Then in that case I would want to activate Ursa. I guess so. Okay, Ancestral Recall. That's a good hit. I, I don't want to Ancestral them because, well, uh, Narset prevents me from killing that way. From Host Sitzark. Okay, and uh, now they can make a bunch of tokens with Dr. Foundry. They have sadly 8 mana for Cityscape level. One, we have 7 cards left, and one of those cards is Jace Wilder of Mysteries. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for the Brain Freeze myself line. Yes, I was running out of mana. It was 3 mana total. I had 6 mana. Brain Freeze plus Echo Fiends was, was 6 mana total. Maybe that was enough. Okay, if they are using that to make tokens with the Total Foundry, they don't have enough mana for City Skip Leveler. I will let them do it. St stop on their turn. Just realize, maybe some of you don't know how this works, so I will show you. This lets you sacrifice a non token artifact to create a 1 1 Topter. And Sword of the Meek, you can bring it back from the graveyard when it when you create a 1 1 token. So, well, for each mana you have, you sacrifice Sword of the Meek, gain 1 life, and make a 1 1. So now our opponent has a mighty army. But, well, we'll see what happens here. They will probably kill Narset, which makes our Echo of Eons a lot worse. Mm, yep. Yeah. Attacking face. And we will eat one of those for free. They are attacking with three just in case. They have four cards left in their deck, and that top the foundry is going to be annoying at some point. Not yet. I mean, it's annoying now because it has killed, uh, effectively killed our Narset. Uh, so, yeah, we really need two more spells to win. Wow, they are playing frantic search. Ah, maybe they have their own Echo Fions. And that's why? I mean, that's my only explanation here for this play. Going down on cards. I, we can generate a lot of champ blockers with Chrome Host Seeds Arc. Uh, no Echo Fions. They have access to 5 mana now. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I have a static on my head. That's so funny. What's going on here? I'm really intrigued. I mean, I really want to win, but that was a reason to block that token rather than a 1-1. One -one. So until I will put a land into play. And they are going to put Blight Steel. Blight Steel. 
They have two cards left in the deck. One card left in the deck, I don't understand. What's going on? What am I missing? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, they are going to ball a seat at the last. Oh, awesome. Awesome opponent. That's awesome. Yep. I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't count. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so not perfect trophy, but we're not dead. We still have to, to fi we still fight for another two games. Ah, one more spell would we'll have done it, I think. Oh, Kitty Command was the next one. Yeah. Wow, well, that was that was going to be some great draws. Okay, let's run it again. As it is. On the play for this one, I uh, just felt like we had everything we needed, we wanted, and I couldn't find a win, which is probably on me. This is a great hand. Helm of Awakening is a double-edged sword in this matchup, of course. I think I'm going to ditch go. the seed shark here, preordain, look for a land. Uh, land and Ursa. I cannot want both actually. So yeah. Next turn we can go Helm into Currency Converter. Whenever we find Ursa, then we will have loose focus available. Like our deck is solid, but as I as I have already mentioned, we really rely on high tide. Lucky for us, we have ways to find it. Mana Vault, huh? Interesting. They have Mox Opal, we saw that. Is this a short? Talisman. Okay, that's a good start. I'm going to start pumping up out tokens, I guess. Now we draw Urza, which is less than ideal, but I think having Urza is very important for our deck in general. So playing Helm of Awakening against another combo deck is so weird, but if our opponent is playing spells, they are not activating Saga, so that's fine. Hmm. Would be a shame to not win. Still thinking about that last game. Okay, we are getting Saga back to hand. Like Amulet in modern. Not really the most common play actually. Okay. That was a great start by our opponent. Let's see if we get a land for Urza here. Candelabra. I mean, that's free. <laughs> Literally free. So let's play that. Uh, I want to activate this. No. I don't want to because I want to leave loose focus up. Yeah, I, I really want the loose focus. So loose focus is very cool with Helm of Awakening because now for blue blue we can make them. This has replicate, which means you can copy it for each time you play the replicate cost. In this case, well, one, once, just the once, just the one. The reason I didn't loot is, well, mainly the loose focus part. But also I won all the three cards in my hand, which is so weird. Okay, what is this? They have Swantel, we saw that. Uh, I don't think we will let Swantel resolve. Even though putting Ursa into play may be a winning line for us. But if they just put Bola Citadel or. If they put Blade Steel Colossus, we can beat that. But we can't really beat Bola Citadel. Yeah, Pentat Prism is very bad when there's a Helm of Awakening in play. Because this has Sunburst. So. Basically, it costs two mana and 
the contest it gets depends on the color you use. So it's very good at Stalia, right? Because you play you pay extra mana, but you pay extra colors, so you get extra counters. And it's very bad in this situation versus Helm of Awakening. My opponent said your deck looks fun, lol. Thank you, opponent. We are going to replicate this into your thingy. Replicate for one. Same targets. I mean, getting Dr. Foundry out of the of the equation is very nice. Wow, so they had to use Pentad Prism. <laughs> so Dr. Foundry doesn't get any benefit from Helm, and Pentad Prism is actively bad with it. So that was a very fun turn for us. This is great. Now, Ursa. Uh, we can kill with Ursa. We're going to have some big construct. Okay, let me do this. They're going to have bigger constructs actually. Draw this card. Anything. Oh. That's better than Turnabout, I think. Because Turnabout is really good with um, High Tide, of course. But Cryptic Command is just good. <laughs> Always. And we already have Candelabra for for that so yeah in this case we just have to pass the turn opponent is going to untap that's so weird to me like they, they have to want to make gigantic saga token oh they wanted to make a saga token but they stop they were stopping the upkeep with my mana vault something like that Yeah, I think that's what happened. One, two, three, four, five. They they're going to make five fives and then six six and then seven seven when they search for another artifact. So that's big. Cryptic command is going to help with that. Bounce, draw. We keep attacking. Basically, we trade turns. Ideally, now they keep. Oh. Ouch. That wasn't our plans. Time work, huh? We have faced Black Lotus and Time Wolf, and we have Ancestral. So that's very powerful decks. Except for the first round. That deck wasn't very good. That's how we are 2 I guess. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. They search for whatever artifact they have, which I imagine they will have a band. And they have two seven sevens and three cards in hand. Manifold key, so this makes stuff unblockable. Yeah. I, I, I will show you. There it is. And it's very good with Mana Vault. Retrofitter Foundry. Ooh, our opponent deck is sweet. We also have Tolarian Academy, we saw that. We're going to do the classic cryptic tap your team, draw a card to. Time walk them. <laughs> they did actually time walk. Like we are going to do a pseudo time walk, and they actually time walk. It was a very good one actually. Gave them a lot of mana. Gave them an extra construct token. Ooh. I think we can wait. We can and should wait for that because we don't have a payoff. We just have stuff. So let's wait here. Uh, did they make a did they make a retrofitter token? That's weird. Uh, did we see any counter spells from their side? I don't remember. I don't recall. I will tap draw. Tap draw. Okay. Now the question is: Do we want to activate currency converter? to loot that land away which is not a very great land so yeah I think so like having a choo choo is nice and all but I think looting here getting closer to any draw 7 is going to be much better 
Okay, draw. That's not what we wanted, that's for sure. So I can high tide, activate Ursa, half a million mana, thanks to Candelabra. And then I have to hit with Ursa. But now they can make enough tokens to kill us. And we, we can block with the currency converter token and with the construct token. I think we wait one more turn here. Makes no sense to go for it. And we need action, an action spell there. Maybe I should have activated Ulta. Now that I think about it. Yeah, maybe. I think it's the same to untap this directly, directly right? Okay, making another one one. Okay, they have a couple of tendons, which are big and scary. Let's just go in for the attack. And we have to block both tendons because we will die if not. Because they can make a bunch of tokens and whatnot. They have any removal spell with I. This here, this here, this here. So maybe I should have activated Urza just in case I hit like an Arset, something like that. I could activate now, but the only relevant hits are Brain Freeze and maybe Force of Negation. No, have Lightning Bolt, please. Okay. That's not very scary. Also, I, I think we were dead if our opponent made one of the construct tokens unblockable and just keep it with sort of the meek or something. So I, th I think they messed up there. Tamio time walk suit. Uh, okay, I have to activate Ursa now. Try to find. Force of Negation. I can do more than one activation with High Tide. The problem is if I do that, how do I win? Like I can go for the one outer, like activate Urza, that's it. Or I can High Tide and activate twice. Try to find Force of Negation. And then lose. So yeah, I'm just going to activate Urza once. Because I don't think I can win if I use high tide right now. I have to blind flip for some reason here. For some reason. Come on, come on, one time. Brain freeze. Yeah, that's not going to do it. Even if our opponent had played like a bunch more spells, we know they have Blight Steel Colossus in their deck. So we died. They, they had lethal, they, they missed lethal, they, they could have made one token unblockable and then just make a bunch of tokens and kill us. We were at 12, like we were dead. Okay, ah, uh, sucks. This was a very fun deck, it was very cool games and fun stuff to do. How would you enjoy it? If you did, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe to not miss another video. And you will have another one tomorrow, and if not, up there should be a playlist with all 
with a bunch of other vintage cube videos. Bye.